He's just big and powerful. I mean, he's just a monster. One of the most physically imposing swimmers in Dury program history, Big Vlad, Vladimir Sadorkin, came from Estonia where he was a 2008 Olympian, all the way to Springfield, Missouri with championship aspirations. And in just three years with the program, between the results he produced and his larger than life personality, he quickly became legendary. He could lay down power to the water like we'd never seen before. And that was exciting and, and uh, came to the pool every day and, and, and put that body to the test. So at the same time, he, he liked to laugh and have fun, um, good natured, fun loving. Um, he liked to joke around with the other guys a lot, but it was always in, in good spirits and and, but, but in the back of his mind, you kind of knew where he wanted to be in the end. Sadorkin finished his career at Drury as a 20-time All-American, and he still owns the school records in the 100 and 200 freestyle relay events. To outsiders, many saw his size and strength as natural gifts, enabling Big Vlad to do what others couldn't. But in reality, it was the work he put in behind the scenes that made him so formidable. I think that for an athlete to excel, you, you have to enjoy what you're doing. You have to enjoy the process. And number two, you have to have an attitude of gratitude. And, and Vlad had those two characteristics. He was appreciative of the fact that, you know, here's a kid who'd been in the Olympics and already been at a real high level of swimming, but he still had that, that attitude of gratitude when it came to what he was here to do and, and be a part of this team. And he also had the happy-go-lucky, enjoy the process, enjoy coming to the pool and working every day. You know that if you can turn that size into something that can really apply its force to the water, that, that he's gonna do something special. And Sidorkin was beyond special. He led the Drury men's swimming team to their seventh, eighth, and ninth respective national championships, a new record for the most consecutive by any D2 program. In the water, he won nine national titles in various events, but it was the final race of his career, the 400 freestyle relay, that people in the swimming world still talk about to this day. We were swimming against uh, Bridgeport University, who had probably the best set of sprinters in the meet. Bridgeport was in the lead. I mean, it was at least two to two and a half body lengths by the time Vlad took off, and he was Going, going to have to chase down the kid that had finished second to him in the 100 freestyle by maybe a couple feet. Now Vlad was going to have to make up, you know, six yards. And uh, when he flipped at the 50 mark, which is the halfway point, he had made up about half the distance. And when he came off the last wall, there was just something magical that I knew Vlad was going to get back to the wall first. And he tore past that kid from the last 12 and a half yards. And he touched the wall and he went a time of about 41.8. To give you in perspective, he went 43 something in his individual and he went 41 high in his in his relay. So he had out split that time by over two seconds and it should have been within about 0.5. So anyway, it kind of shows, it shows what you can do when you empty your mind of all the limitations that you have and literally lay everything out on the table and have one goal, which is to get back to the wall before somebody else. For all of his accomplishments and legendary swims, today Vladimir Sadorkin becomes the newest Dury men's swimming and diving alumnus inducted into the Dury Sports Hall of Fame. Vlad, on behalf of the swimming and diving program, we want to welcome you to the 2018 Sports Hall of Fame. <laughs>